Hi, I'm Mrs. Stanley from Mayfoot Elementary. This is my kindergarten class and we will be doing a STEM activity on Groundhog's Day and investigating shadows. Okay, boys and girls, let me see who's sitting crisscross. Evel saw his hands in their lap. Who can raise their hand and tell me what holiday we celebrated on Saturday? Mason, what holiday did we have on Saturday? Well, it's not the 100th day yet. It's coming, but there's a different holiday that just happened. Micaiah, what holiday do we celebrate? Groundhog's Day, right. And what were we waiting for the groundhog to do? Miracle, what were we waiting for him to do? Right. We were going to see if he pops out of his burrow to see if he saw his shadow or if he did not. not see his shadow. What happens if he sees his shadow? Who can raise their hand and tell me what will happen if he saw his shadow? Autumn. He'll go back in his cave and that means it's more time for winter. Yes, exactly. So if he sees his shadow, he has to go back in his hole because it's more winter time. Raise your hand and tell me what happens if he did not see his shadow. Paris, what was going to happen? Well, yeah, the shadow would be gone, but what would happen if he did not see his shadow? Um, Hunter James, what would happen? Uh, it, we get Emma's coming. Right, so spring will be here early, right? Okay, so Miss Stanley watched the news. Maybe your mommies and daddies did too, but I know if he saw his shadow, if he did not see his shadow. So what we're going to do is... Um, talk about our own groundhog because you're going to get your groundhog um, and then at the end of our lesson we're going to or Miss Stanley will tell you if he saw his shadow or if he did not see his shadow okay so the first thing I want to do is show you this groundhog story it's called go to sleep groundhog Groundhog went to bed on Columbus Day, just like he always did. He brushed his teeth, he put on his jammies, he set out his clock for February 2nd, then he curled up in his warm, cozy bed. Oh gosh, man. He couldn't get to sleep. Finally, he got out of bed. He peered at his clock, half past October. Groundhog poked his nose outside his burrow. The moon was full. I'll just go for a little walk, he said. Maybe that will make me sleepy. Groundhog went outside. He saw things he'd never seen before. Raggedy scarecrows and grinning jack-o'-lanterns. Children dressed up like pirates and cowboys and princesses. So he woke up, but was it February? No, raise your hand and tell me what month he was in. What month was he in, Jackie? October. He was in October, right. What holiday are they celebrating right now? October. Well, it's in October. What, ho what Halloween. holiday? Halloween. And he, so what is the problem in the story right now? He's never seen before. Well, right. He's supposed to be what? Sleeping. Supposed to be sleeping, but is he sleeping? All right, let's see what happens next. Halloween witch blew down. What are you doing up, she said. It's almost winter. You should be in bed. Witch blew Groundhog home on her broomstick. She tucked him in. She read him a ghost story. She gave him a glass of apple cider. Groundhog curled up in his warm, cozy bed. He closed his eyes. He tossed and turned but he couldn't get to sleep. Finally, he got out of bed. He peered at his clock, half past November. He poked his nose outside his burrow. The leaves were red and yellow. I'll just go for a little walk, he said. Maybe that will make me sleepy. So it's not October anymore, now it's November. November. And what is still the problem? He has to go sleep. He's not what? Oh, he's not going to sleep. Right. So what is he trying to do to solve his problem? He's, Hunter Allen, what is he trying to do to solve it? He's, he's trying to just make us do a walk. 
Right, he's going for walks. All right, let's see if this walk in November makes him sleepy. Groundhog went outside. He saw things he'd never seen before. Tall yellow corn shocks and round orange pumpkins. Turkeys gobbling in the barnyard. What are you doing up, Turkey said. It's almost winter. You should be in bed and I should be making myself scarce. Turkey took Groundhog home. He tucked him in. He read him a story about pilgrims. He gave him a slice of pumpkin pie. Groundhog curled up in his warm, cozy bed. He closed his eyes. He tossed and he turned, but he couldn't get to sleep. Finally, he got out of bed. He peered at his clock, half past December. Groundhog poked his nose outside his burrow. Stars twinkled overhead. I'll just go for a little walk, he said. Maybe that will make me sleepy. Okay, so in November, the turkey tucked him in, but did he fall asleep? No. So what month is it right now? December. So he's, what is he still trying to do to help him solve his problem, Miracle? Um, he's trying to get a walk. Right, so now he's going for another walk. All right, let's so see what happens if, sleep. yeah, he's trying to get himself to sleep. But it's not working. Groundhog went outside. He saw things he'd never seen before. Colored lights glowing on some houses, candles shining in windows, Holly wreaths hanging on doors. He heard sleigh bells chiming in the air. Santa flew down in his sleigh. What are you doing up, Santa said. It's winter. You should be in bed. Santa took Groundhog home in his sleigh. He tucked him in. He read him a Christmas story. He gave him a glass of milk and cookies. Groundhog curled up in his warm, cozy bed. He closed his eyes. He didn't toss and he didn't turn. And soon he fell asleep. Bring! Groundhog opened one eye. It can't be time to get up yet, he grumbled. I just got to sleep. Bring! He peered at his clock. February 2nd. Groundhog yawned and stretched. He tumbled out of his burrow. Snow glittered on the ground. The sun was out. The sky was blue. Groundhog saw his shadow. What am I doing up, he said. There are six more weeks of winter coming. I should be in bed. He hurried back inside. He ate a bedtime snack. He read himself a bedtime snoring story. Then he tucked himself into his warm, cozy bed. And he pulled up the covers, closed his eyes, and went to sleep. About Groundhog Day. So, raise your hand and tell me what finally helped him go to sleep. What helped him go to sleep? Autumn, what happened? Not turning. What? Not turning. Not turning? Okay, well there's something else that happened too. Will you take a minute to Mason, talk you to your partner happened? about where you're... What? Um, Santa gave him milk and cookie and read him a Christmas story. Yeah, so he read a story, didn't he? Yeah, and so Santa helped him the first time, but then who helped him the next time? Himself. Himself. Yeah, he read a story all by himself, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. So in this story, did the groundhog see his shadow or did he not see his shadow? He, see his shadow. he saw his shadow, and that's why he got to go back, back to sleep. Right. All right, so here's your groundhog. Wow. Can you sit right here and that way the friends behind you can see? Good job. All right, I'm going to make sure everyone's listening. Okay. So, you have your groundhog. Now, in the story, he saw his shadow. Now, we don't know yet if our groundhog saw his shadow or if he did not see his shadow. But this is what you're going to do at your table. You have your groundhog, and you have a flashlight. Now, remember, a shadow is made when what? Something, is blocking the light. Something blocks the light. Good. Your job is to make his shadow blocked. So we don't want to see his shadow because we want spring to come, right? Yeah. Okay, so your job is to build something to block his shadow. Hunter James, are you listening? Okay, so you have to work with your table. Now you have some materials in your bucket. So I'm going to show you what you have to make your wall or whatever it is you want to to block his shadow. So you do have Play-Doh, and I will show you what you do with it in just a second. But you do have Play-Doh. 
you do have some tape and you're just going to be super careful when we do that and we'll talk more about that in a second. You have a flashlight. This is going to be your tester. So you can see if you blocked the shadow, if you did not block it. You have some scissors. You probably will not need these, but just in case they're in there in case you need to cut the tape or cut the Play-Doh. And then you have some popsicle sticks. All right, now, remember when we glue things down, sometimes we use the, um, well, when we use food, you know how we use icing, kind of like our glue? Yeah. Okay, so that's what your Play-Doh is today. So I know this is not food, but you're going to use your Play-Doh like glue. Now, I'm not going to put it on the carpet because it's going to get very messy. But what you're going to do is build a wall. So what you can do is use your Play-Doh and you can roll it out. And then what you can do is start building a wall with your popsicle sticks. Now remember, this is only for your table. So you're going to have to share and you're going to have to work together with your group to come up with something to block the groundhog's shadow. We're making a house. You can make whatever you want. It just has to block the groundhog's shadow. So what you're going to do is build it with your table and then when Miss Stanley says stop, we're going to stop. And then we're going to test it. We're going to see if your groundhog shadow is blocked or if it is not blocked. Yeah. So you can stack popsicle sticks like this. I've got tape in there. So if you wanted to make it super tall, you can kind of tape some popsicle sticks. Or what you could do even is use some more of your glue, your Play-Doh and kind of stick it here on top and then build another. You, but I don't want to tell you what to do because this is kind of what you're going to do with your group, okay? Yeah, I tried that at home. You did? What? All right, now, do you want to what's going to happen, here, I'll show you. What's going to happen, I'll put a little bit on the carpet. I'm going to show you. So I'll make a simple wall first. So say this is what Miss Stanley built. All right, and then I'm going to say hands on top, and then we say what? Everybody, Everybody stop. So we're going to stop, and then we're going to test it. So you're going to put your groundhog behind what you built, and you're going to make sure he stands up nice and tall. Now, I'm blocking the surface, but I just want to make sure you see. And then Miss Stanley's going to cut the lights off, and then you're going to turn your flashlight on, and then you're going to hold it in the front. Right, so if you can see, his shadow is still there. So did Miss Stanley build a good wall? No. No, so what do I need to do? And make it, you have to spread it out. Right, I have to make it different because I'm trying to do what? Block it. I'm trying to block the shadow, right, I'm trying to block it. Okay, so does everybody understand what they're doing? Yes. Okay, I want you to turn and face the screen I have another friend that did theirs, and I can show you a picture of it. This is another way a friend did it, and so he used his Play-Doh, and he used lots of Popsicle sticks, and then he used some tape and some other Play-Doh to make it tall, too. I'm just showing you what Miss Stanley did, and then I'm showing you what another friend did to give you an idea of what to do when you get to your table, okay? All right, so listen, I'm going to put about six minutes on the clock. You're going to have six minutes with your group to come up with a wall to see if we can block his shadow, okay? All right, ready, set, and go. Well, you don't need the flashlight yet because that's what you're testing the groundhog with. You need to use the other objects. Yeah, remember you're sharing. All right, so do you know how you're going to build it yet? Okay. Do you need help opening it? I can help you. All right, hurry up because we have about five minutes left. Let's see what we can build. All right, Autumn and Paris, are you helping Micaiah? You're doing a good job. All right, you're working together. Table four is doing a really good job building all together. Good, Autumn. Yep, yeah, so look, this is what you're going to do. Help each other. Look, put it in the middle. Put it in the middle. You're helping each other. Miracle, put it in the middle. 
put it in the middle. You're helping, you're gonna have one big one for your group, okay? You can't have one by yourself. You gotta work together as a group, okay? Like work together, uh -huh. like as a team? As a team, yes. All right, so there you go, good, much better. Hunter, are you helping? You can, as long as it blocks his shadow, then you're okay. Yeah, we're gonna connect our Are you gonna connect it all? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Okay, is that what you're doing? Okay, that's a smart idea. Okay, so what are y'all doing over here? You're gonna connect it too? All right. No more what? All right, you have about one more minute. So if you're combining them, you might want to start combining so we can be ready to test it. All right, does everybody have their groundhog behind their build? Yes. Okay. It's okay. All right, let me see who is sitting down and ready to test their groundhog's shadow. All right, now what you have to do is cut the flashlight on and shine it in front of what you built. And then you have to see if you see his shadow or if you do not see his shadow. Well, honey, problem solved. If it fell, just pick it right up. Okay, so we'll put it behind. All right, who's got the flashlight? All right, shine it through here. Jack, see if you see the shadow. Hang on, let's make sure he stands up. Help me. All right, do you see a shadow? You got it. You kind of see it. It's like a tree. Yeah, kind of. You're almost there. I bet if you put a few more popsicle sticks up, you might be able to block it. All right, how did you do? Did you block the shadow? Oh, look, Mabel. Let me see, honey. Come this way a little bit. All right, if you can hear Miss Stanley clap one time. If you can hear Miss Stanley clap two times. All right, raise your hand if your wall blocked his shadow. Woo, I see two tables that mean it work. All right, hands down. Raise your hand if your wall did not block his shadow. That's okay. Raise your hand and tell me what we tried to do at our tables today. What did we try to do? Avery, what did we try to do today? And what did we use those for? Oh, it's her turn. For our groundhog. And what were we trying to do with our groundhog, Avery? We'll block his shadow. Yeah, so out of the five tables, I have four of them that were able to block it. So what I want you to do is kiss your brains. You did an awesome job working together, and you worked together as a team, and you built one thing to help block his shadow. That's awesome. So, can I tell you what really happened on Saturday? Okay, remember we made our prediction? All right, raise your hand if you made a prediction that he would see his shadow. All right, hands down. Raise your hand if you made a prediction that he would not see his shadow. Guess what happened? What? He did not see his shadow. Yes! <laughs> well, that means what's coming. What is coming? Yeah. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed our lesson.